Welcome, this is Mayuri. So what we're going to do today is have a little bit of closer look into what exactly are the classes and objects in Java. Okay, so what we'll do is I'll take a small example and I'll try my level best to explain the concept of classes and object by this example. Okay, so what we'll do is go to your file, new, create a new Java project. Okay, so we'll say the name of the project as say hello. Okay. Go to next and say finish. Okay, a new project structure is being created. Now what we'll do is I'll create a class. Okay, now basically what are the classes and objects in Java? As we all know, Java is an object-oriented programming language. Now what is what are these objects? Objects could be any of a real-time objects, a real-world object, you can say a dog a car or a cat or any human being right and uh, what then what are the classes classes are basically the blueprint or a template of a particular object okay now these things to be uh, too difficult so what i'll do is i'll create a class and i'll explain okay so what i'll do is i'll create a class say a cat okay we have to write the package name we'll say com dot example dot cat and say finish okay so your class is being this is the package name which we have specified your class is being created cat okay now basically uh, any of the object has a state and a behavior okay now a cat can have a state say a name age color and it has a behavior say a cat says meow meow or cat eats i mean drink milk okay so what basically are the classes is it will define the uh, behavior and the states of a cat so what we'll do is we'll define the behavior and the states okay so f basically the states corresponds to the variables right so what we'll do is start creating basic states of for the cat so what we'll do is say string name okay i'll give the name to my cat as say kitty basically we can use constructor to define or say initialize the variables but uh, right now i'll be using a simple initialization i will also proceed with the constructor in my upcoming video okay then i'll say h um, let's give an age to kitty as three years, right? And I'll say color and say white, right? These are the states. Okay, now I'll define some behaviors. Behaviors are nothing but the methods. Okay, public void says okay so so what i'll do is i'll say uh, system dot out dot print line say cat says meow meow okay and I'll define one more method and say eats. This will print a line in console. So here what I have done is made a class, okay, cat, I have defined following states for the class which are nothing but a variable in Java program, I have given state as a name, age and the color and the, these are the behaviors that are the methods I will say, says eat. Now how do you call this class, right, so to call this class what I will do is I'll make one more class. Say cat test. 
okay i'll have a main method in the class okay as i said in my previous video also your main method uh, main method is nothing but uh, basic starting point of your program so program ex execution will begin from this class cat test right so what i'll do is i'll create the object for this class okay so how do you create the object cat say now the new operator or you can say a new keyword is used to create the object of a class okay now i need to call this class i mean i need to call the met, uh, the variables and the methods defined in the class so what i'll do is i'll say system dot out dot print line okay what i'll do is i'll copy this and keep okay the name name of the cat is okay we'll say sorry the you can use the object that you have created okay there is a dot operator okay you will see all the states and the behavior over here okay as as you use the dot operator you can see all the variables defined over here okay so the name of the cat is you can say name okay you can execute this and check you can execute your program by clicking on this run icon right the name of the cat is kitty you can place little bit of space over here okay the name of the cat is kitty can you see the out you can see the output over here the name of the cat is kitty right if you want to access any other object you can say age of the k age of the cat is you can access like here okay mm, you can run this program you can see the age of the cat is 3 right similarly you can access the color age and say the color of the cat is dot color okay see you can you can get the corresponding output in your console okay similarly you can access the methods also in the java program how we will similarly you can access the methods that you have defined for your cat class okay so let's now access the method so I have already written print line over here, so there is no need to write this again. I will simply come put a comment on this code. Okay. And you can call this method directly by obj cat dot. What is the name of your method? Says. Okay. So you can call this method using the object name, the object of your the object of the class cat dot operator says okay you can you have called your object you can see the output in the console cat says meow meow which you have written inside this method okay and similarly you can also call the method Oops. right run your program and you can see cat drinks whatever you have written inside the eat class okay similarly you can call the uh, method e by calling the dot operator okay and you will get the corresponding output okay so i hope the concept of your classes and objects are clear and i hope you enjoyed watching this video do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you